This video reviews various calculations you can do within a pyramid. And this is a rectangular base pyramid where the peak of the pyramid is above the center of the base. And in this question we're asked to find the height of the pyramid. And in doing so we'll actually revise a number of key calculations. Now the height of the pyramid, just be clear about this, is this length which goes down to above the centre of the base. And this actually forms a right angled triangle, like so. And I know the 8 for those slant heights, so this is 8 as well. And to find the height of this, if I knew this length here, then I could use Pythagoras. Now to find out this height, we're going to do a couple of steps. And the first step is to imagine this whole length across the base from C to B. This length here must be half of that entire length. I'm going to sketch out the following triangle. A, C, and B. So there's my right angle there, and here's my right angle here. I know that A to B is 5, and A to C must be 4. So I can find out this length here using Pythagoras. 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is 16 plus 25, is 41. So this length here, b to c, must be the square root of 41, which if we work out as a decimal, is 6.4 to 1 decimal place. That's just been rounded. So I found the entire length from c to b across this base. Now, to find the height of the pyramid, I'm going to draw out this right angle triangle here. Now we know the slant length is 8. Now this length here, from the centre to B, must be a half of the whole length across. So if I divide that by 2, then that is 3.2 zero two, I've halved the more accurate decimal, and that is to 3dp. As a third, it's root of 41 over 2. And my question was to find the height, which I'll just call a. So to find a, I only need to use Pythagoras, but I know the hypotenuse. So to find a, it'll be 8 squared minus that length there squared. So 8 squared take away this decimal. However, the key thing here is to use the accurate number from before, not the rounded decimal. So I'll do 8 squared take away this answer squared. And then from this, I get 53.75. Then to find that length of A, I finish off by square rooting. So root of ANS, which just equals 7.33 to two decimal places. So again, the key thing here is to visualise the right angle triangles within the shape. And when we use calculations later on that come from a previous part, use the most accurate number possible to ensure your final answer is as accurate as it possibly can be.